I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's full body stretch. If you've been following along with my January program, you are ready for this stretch. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and follow along with us. There is never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready to relax and recover? Let's go. Are you ready to stretch? You've just done a workout, your muscles are ready to go. If you're doing this as a standalone and you just got out of bed or you're getting ready to go to bed, just make sure you move around a little bit before you do the stretch. We want those muscles a little bit warm. We want oxygen going to them. So we want to raise your heart rate just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to leave my chair over there. We are going to use the chair. Take a deep breath. Now, as you exhale, I want you to slightly bend your knees and roll down wherever's comfortable for you. You're going to feel the back of the legs activate here. Turn to one side. You're going to feel that leg on that side really, really engage. Back to center. Remember, knees are slightly bent here. Over to the other side. Back to center. Try and go a little deeper now. Relax your upper body. Up to a flat back, hands are on your knees. I'm turning, you don't have to. Round your back. Pull that hip area to the chin. Look down at your knees. Round that back. Completely reverse this. Round it again. If you need something to hold on to, you can hang on to your chair. The objective of stretching is to let the muscles stretch without you having to tense and keep yourself upright. So don't be afraid to get some balance. Flat the back. Roll it up. I'm going to step wide and reach up. You have the whole side of this body stretch. I'm using this chair to show you balance. Absolutely fine. Do a body check when you're stretching. Are you relaxing your muscles? No, so. A couple options for this next one. You're going to bring your feet together or cross one foot over the other. It's the outside foot that crosses, and we reach over as opposed to up. Going a little deeper in that opening. All right, so the other side. We do this side without the chair, reaching up. And the stretch, and then we go into the deeper stretch. I'm not using the chair, I'm not going to cross my feet and fall over. I'm going to keep my feet together and reach over. Deep breaths. I'm going to accuse that guys because I'm probably tightening my neck, which I was. I'm going to use my chair now. I'm going to open up. The hip area, the hip flexor right here. So this leg that's in towards the chair, I want you to step forward, get the leg back, and then I want you to bend the front knee and keep the weight in the back toe. Drive that hip forward and feel the stretch right there. Drive it forward, nice deep breaths. From here, reach the outside arm up, feel that stretch deepen. If you can, Reach away, so I'm leaning in towards my chair, making that stretch super deep. Love this stretch. Good. All right, so from here, stay on the side, stepping back, bring that toe up. We activated those hamstrings when we started. I'm going into a nice deep stretch with the back of the leg. side. So now the leg that's in towards your chair comes forward, the other one back, bend this knee but the weight stays back. Drive the hip forward, feel the stretch. Set up the stretch, and then go deeper, 
reaching straight up. Feel that engage that hip. Wow. Reaching towards your chair. If that feels comfortable. so you can see me. We're going to go nice and wide. I'm going to lean to one side. Weight leans back, comes out your hips. Think about your tailbone, like the weight is shooting out your tailbone. And feel your inner leg stretch. That arm, the straight leg. Reach towards your toe. Reach all the way across if you can. Maybe at first you're right here, but next time you do this, you're here. And then you're here. And then you're here. Center, hinge forward, flat back, drive those hips back. Toes are facing me here. And the other side, set out that lunge, and reach across. may be enough. If you can and you want to bring your head down, reach for the floor. If you're more advanced, grab your elbows and look through your knees. Gravity is going to really create traction in your spine here. But find the level that's right for you. Do not want you falling over. You need to put your hands down or you're up here. Totally fine. I'm going to bring the heels in and push those knees out. Maybe up here, wherever you're at, that's where you should be. Everybody's flexibility is different, and flexibility, like anything, involves practice. And come on up, stretch the back of the lower leg, and push that calf to the ground. Now that may be enough of a stretch. If you want to go deeper, reach high and back. Just going to pull that upper body away from that calf, stretching it deeper. And notice I am holding onto my chair. I want this to be about my calf, not about my balance. Good. Let's go to the other side. Push your heel down. Set yourself up. Maybe this is deep enough. If you want it deeper, reach up. Feel how that just pulls that calf a little bit deeper. Here one more time. We're going to lean back and go flat back. We're going to feel this stretch still up here. We want you to round the back, really round it. You warm up now. Pull those hips forward. Round the upper back too. We're getting ready to go into upper body. And then flatten and then come on up. Have a seat. We're going to start upper body by pushing forward. Drop your shoulders, round this across the top of your upper back. Now, this we do first. Let's go to one side. Because this is a position we tend to be in when we're sitting at desks or in our cars, right? We're slouched a little bit. Moving forward. So we need to stretch these back muscles, but we want to reverse the stretch after we do it. Back to center, push it out one more time. Good. Take this stretch, palms up, thumbs back, open up the chest. Straighten those arms, drop the shoulders, drop the hands, feel the stretch in the bicep. 
So find your bra. turn in my chair. You don't have to. I just want to show you. I want you to go back. I want to grab your hands back here. I want you to round your shoulders back. If you're more advanced, you have room in your chair. You can lift. But really, it's all about rounding your shoulders back. This is the reverse of that slouch move you tend to do. This is a stretch right here. This, this simple stretch. You sit at a desk. You should do this. Like once an hour. One arm, pat yourself on the back, grab your elbow. I want to pat yourself on the back. You're doing something good for yourself. Taking a few minutes to make your health better. It will make your entire world better. If you're consistently putting good in, you're going to get good out. Let's go to the other side. Grab that elbow. Feel the back of the arm stretch here. Drop your neck and shoulders. Don't scrunch them up, okay? Bring those arms down. You're probably very stiff right in here. I want you to roll those shoulders one at a time. You can get a little deeper. Go the other way. Roll them over. Okay. Up and down the neck. Right. Roll again. Feel a little snap, crackle, pop there. I do. All right. Just hands very gently relaxed upper body. Let's take the ear to a shoulder, stretching the neck. If you're like me, your neck is very, very stiff. I'm going to take a hand on my head, put a little bit of weight on the head. Put a little deeper, you reach away, the opposite arm, deeper still. Deep breaths. Find where that stretch is efficient and effective. Go right into that deep stretch and start here. Get a little weight if you'd like. You don't have to. Keep the foot with the ritual. Stretch if you sit at a desk all day. And head up. I want you to drop your head. And I mean drop it. Do not let the neck hold this head up. Let gravity pull on the head. Opening up that neck. Vertebrae. Yes. I want you to turn your head and look outside one of your knees. chest, but I don't want you to raise them too high. I want you to keep the advantage of that neck stretch and that shoulder stretch. Ready? Deep breath. Exhale. One more time. Deep breath. And exhale. And big smile because you just did something good for yourself. Congratulations. 
join me often. Look for the other stretches on the playlist. There's a full playlist of stretch videos, and we have our Flexibility Friday. So every Friday, I'm going to try and get a stretch video out for you. Enjoy your day.